tutorial on how to play Teen Romance by Little Peep. We are not in standard tuning. That is the really tricky part about the song, and there is no capo. So why is it the tricky part of the song? Well, if you look for chord progressions out there, a lot of them don't have very good ratings, and it's because the song is not in standard tuning. And the thing to compensate best for that, I found, was to tune each string down one quarter step. So if this is an E, you can see here, I tuned it just down a little bit, not all the way a half step down, but close to a quarter step down. And I did that for each string. So to play the song and match it up with the recorded version, you're going to want to do that. <laughs> otherwise, something's going to sound off if you're trying to play along with it. Um, otherwise, you can play in standard tuning. It'll sound fine if you do standard tuning. And the chords we need are an E chord and an A chord. There's also a G chord, but really the main progression we have is just this E to an A. So let's talk about how to play those chords real quickly here. For an E, your index is on the third fret of the G string. One, two, three strings up is the G string. And the first fret over here. Your middle finger goes to the second fret, one fret over, and it goes to the A string, so that's the second string down, one, two strings down, and your ring finger gets tucked under on the second fret of the D. And there's your E chord. Now let's talk about our A chord. Our A chord, your middle finger goes down to the second fret of the D string, that's your third string down, one, two, three strings down. Your ring finger is going to play the second fret of the G right under your middle finger, and your pinky gets the B right under your ring finger. Those are all sandwiched in on the second fret, and we're going to play all our strings except for this low E string here. So those are the two chords. Now the progression itself in the strumming pattern is what we're going to talk about here next. So this is just one way to strum. This is how I'm strumming along. A chord down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. You can do that pretty much throughout the entire song, so let's slow that down here. Down, 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 up, up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, E to your A. If you want to get tricky with it, you can put in some drums and then do some finger picking. get too much into that so I just wanted to show you a simple strumming pattern and then kind of convey that the hard part about this song is the tuning and not the chords or the strumming pattern so that's gonna be it for this tutorial if you have questions feel free to comment below if you'd like to see more tutorials please subscribe to my channel and if you get a chance check out my songwriting playlist thank you for watching